Let's pretend we've got a patient that comes in that weighs 422 pounds, okay. really super overweight, and they come to you for a weight loss surgery. Tell me about how you guide that patient. Right. Well, I really try to match the operation that fits that patient the best. Now, that patient would have at least 200 pounds to lose, and each of the operations have a sort of limit to how much they'll help people. That patient would probably be best served with what's called a duodenal switch. Duodenal switch. Now, you talked about the duodenum being a gatekeeper, sort of. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me about duodenal switch. The duodenal switch's operation is a variation of, called, of an operation called the biliary pancreatic diversion. Well, that's a big long word, biliary, biliary pancreatic diversion. Okay, go, so, let's go through it. So I just call it the, the switch or the duodenal switch for short. But it's been around for about 40 years. 40 years. It's an excellent operation that involves a limited sleeve gastrectomy where we're trying to take out about 50% of the stomach and then a bowel bypass of about 60% of the small intestines. So how do you, you're going to bypass the, the small intestine or 60% of it. Yes. So the first part or the last part you bypass? We bypass the first part of the small intestines. And the purpose of the, of the initial part of the small intestines that we're going to bypass, uh, that's purpose is what? Well, you do absorb a lot of iron and calcium and calories in the small bowel. So the idea with the duodenal switch is that initially it's restrictive because when people eat, they get full very quickly. Yeah. But over time, they get to where they can eat very normally, but they can maintain their weight loss because they're only using about eight to nine feet of their small bowel, and they just don't have time to absorb a lot of calories. So do they get uh, diarrhea? Do they get loose stools? Do they have problems with that? How do you handle that? You know, they certainly can, but it's usually caused by the diet. If they eat a high-protein, low-carb, low-fat diet that we recommend, the average patient will have one to two bowel movements a day. So if, that's really pretty good. It's not bad. If they... If they go out and eat a good old country fried meal, though, they're going to have some diarrhea. <laughs>